hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how i created this beautiful um library website over here so um i call this a library website because um you borrow books over here okay you don't buy books you borrow books over here now, i'm going to show you how i created this um beautiful library website as you see over here with all the um beautiful images and everything i'll give them to you for free I'll show you where you can download them. I'll leave the link in the description for you for free. So I'm going to take you through the whole website itself. It's a very simple library website. It doesn't have too many functions. All what it does is borrow a book, okay? So what we're going to see is um, a header over here with, the, um, you know, the um, library logo over here and then the menu items over here with a button to over here, okay? So as you can see, we have um, the home page, the about page, the library, the contact, and then what? The account, my account page over here. And then borrow a book, which will also lead you to what? The library over here. Now, if you scroll down, we have um, the hero session too over here. Um, with a small quote over here by Dr. Zeus. Um, I got this one on Google when I Googled to get more, um, you know, quote on uh, reading. I got this one over here. The more that you read, the more things you will know the more that you learn the more places you go so basically this is just um something about reading okay and this is a quote and then um there is a button over here which says what read a book okay now if you scroll down um, we are displaying some you know um a great carousel over here okay so as you can see you can glance through or go through it using this arrows over here okay and this one um is just you know something like a featured thing a featured books over here okay just to let people know that these books are the most read books or whatever books that you want to what you want to tell people okay so that is it now if you scroll down we have um you know another session over here which also have a this session is all about what powerful motivation what books okay so an individual's thought have to, the ability to influence their actions blah 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 you can write any quote that you want to what right over here with a button over here okay so this is just a simple thing to design the what the home page and then we have all kinds of what books and their their prizes um their prizes over here so if you scroll on it um you can you know just click on it to, uh, to view the book itself and then you know you when you come down over here now we have the last um session over here which is a call to action over here which is uh, just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day so read a book so you know just one small reading in the morning from a, your favorite book can change your thought for the whole day or can change your mood for the whole day okay and that is what it so this is just um, a simple home page i created over here for what the library book now i'm going to take you through how you know the shop page um the library page also looks like now i call it a shop page because you can um, I use WooCommerce to uh, to develop it. Okay, so as you can see, this is what um, this is the the library page of a lot of books over here. You can what you can go through. Okay, so as you can see, when you hover on it, it says what borrow. Okay, borrow book. When you hover over it, it says what borrow book. When you hover over it, it says what borrow book. So I'll show you how you can be able to what, change um, you know this default WooCommerce to what borrow book so that you also what. Um, you know change it to either download or whatever it is you can be able to, uh, to use it okay so this one this website over here can also be used as what a bookstore okay so for those of you who wants to what uh, sell books and then you know whether um soft copy or um you know physical book you can use this website to, uh, to sell um your books okay so you can watch it create your own and then sell your books using this one but specifically this is what just for borrowing what book okay so as you can see um that is how it is now if i want to let's say um borrow um think and grow rich over here and read i can click over here okay and then i'll view the cart page so this is what i already have another book which is make your bed now i'm going to delete that this one and then i'll just use this one and then i'll proceed to what to check out okay so when we go to the checkout page now as you can see i don't have so many details going on here the only details i have is what 
your name the town the phone number and then your your email address i've removed all the other details from the um, you know the checkout page and then also as you can see the checkout page um, button doesn't say what it does not say place order it says what borrow okay so now i use the woocommerce you know um uh, plugin to develop this website but then i have to what uh, write some codes to be able to uh, get it down now i not specifically i wrote the code i i use chat gpt to help me to you know redefine it the way i want it okay so as you can see i'm what cash on day of what borrowing so you pay cash you pay with cash upon what borrowing and that is it okay so you don't need to what, worry yourself now as you can see you can go ahead and then what um you know fill in your name your details and then you click on what borrow and then you'll be able to what, borrow a book okay and that is it so um this is how the checkout page also look like now this is a simple about page i'm going to take you to the about page also this is a simple about page okay very simple it doesn't have so much going on over here and you see it over there and then um we also have um i've taken you through the library page i'm going to take you through the contact page also it's very simple contact page um just to uh, to get information from you know whoever owns the what the website okay if you want to contact the admin of the website you can use this contact form to, uh, to contact them and then the account what page this is where all the books that you borrowed will be seen at okay just like the way um, woocommerce normal woocommerce you know um, account page looks like it is also what the same but of course if you want to redesign this one to suit whatever you want it you can watch um a video i made about what how to design the woocommerce um you know woocommerce page woocommerce my account page using what using um elementor okay you can use that one to, to redesign your own page for yourself okay so basically that is it. now if you click on this one it will take you to the what to the library side okay all the uh, books over here so this is um basically how the website really looks like it it's not really much but then it have everything that you need to what um to be able to run this what this website now um at the admin side of the website it is the normal woocommerce so when somebody borrows um fill a name to borrow a book or what the you know the the admin or the owner of the website the library would do is to um you know just when on the day of what borrowing on the day when the person comes to the to the library to what to collect the book you prepare the book down for the person when the person comes you just what you just give it to what give it to the person and you collect your what your borrowing fee or the money that the person is supposed to what use to what to borrow um you know the book okay now when the person you know returns the book you just record it in your what in your um in your in your in your log or whatever it is that you have to record it okay but basically this is how um the website really looks like it is basically for what recording all the borrowings that um goes on into the what into the library i hope this you know um if you like this t t um, introduction that i've done you can stick around and then you know watch the full tutorial how i did this particular what website if you are interested in it please hit the like button and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't turn on the notification button so that whenever i drop a video you'll be able to what you'll be able to um come and then watch it so um without wasting my time let's go straight into how we started designing this beautiful library website as you see over here okay guys so welcome back so we're gonna start designing the whole website itself but to start designing um, a website you need a domain and hosting okay so um i'm gonna leave a link down there you can get a domain and hosting over there if you don't have a domain and hosting um don't worry i have done a video on how to be able to use um how to be able to get you know um, hosting for free okay two videos on how to get hosting for free you can use it to what get free hosting and install wordpress over there or you can also install wordpress on your local host and then you can be able to uh, follow along with this tutorial okay so um i'll leave all those links over there so that you can be able to uh, follow along with this tutorial but then to be able to uh, um, get a domain and hosting 
um just you know go to an uh, um you know um a new tab over here and then just type in kitech digital dot com slash name chip okay just use this link over here i'll leave the link in the description go over there it will take you to what um you know a website where you can be able to what, get cheap domains and what hostings over there so you're gonna come straight to this what this website over here and this website will give you what um cheap domain and what and hosting okay so as you can see you can get um you know a site log for what um just one dollar a month you can get a domain for what uh, almost like eight dollars a year okay and then you renew it as what as thirteen dollars so for the first year you're gonna get to what eight dollars okay so this is what this is uh you know very very cheap you can also get to what um you know hosting and other stuff also what over here okay so if you're gonna get to hostings over here as you can see over here you get what um hostings as what 1.68 dollar per what per you know per month okay which is what very very what very cheap over here so do not do not worry too much now this comes with what free hosting free domain sorry free domain over here if you're gonna get to it either a dot xyz or dot website or domain over there okay so um you can go ahead and then what search for your domain over here so um let's say you want to search for um let's say i want to use this one which is what puzuzuweb.com okay so if i search for this domain and it's available we'll go ahead to a two um you know i will take you through how you can be able to what, you know buy this domain so as you can see it is what it is available for as low as what 7.98 dollar per year and then what happens if you use this um you know um this this words over here as what as your discount code okay you're gonna get what you're gonna get it as what 6.98 dollars per year so the whole year you're just gonna pay 6.9 dollars per year okay and it's available so all what you need to do is to what to add to what to add to cart okay so just add it to cart and then you know proceed in what in um buying your what your hosting so if you go to hosting over there we're going to use shared hosting okay of course you can choose any hosting thing that you want but i'm using shared hosting because that is the cheapest okay so as you can see i'm going to use the the um we have the stellar the um the stellar plus and then what the stellar business okay but this is the most popular one because this is what um w everything that you get so you're going to get unlimited website so you can host unlimited website over here of course you can also get what free domain over here okay and then you can get to omitted SS ssd you can get to unlimited domain base uh, mailboxes and then auto backup so if you want to use this one you get it to what um 30 dollars okay which is like 31 dollars and then with the whole um you know two domain and other stuff you're gonna get it like let's say almost like you know 49 uh, um, 39 40 dollars over there which is very cheap for what getting a whole website on your own for that you know cheap so you're gonna we are going to click on what get started over here and then as you can see it will ask you to choose what your connect to your domain okay so how do we connect your do domain so we have what um, a new domain that we are buying and it is already in the cart okay because of the domain that we place in the cart so we are using the domain in the cart and then um the uh, all domain names previously added to the cart will appear here so this is what we are using over here and so as you can see we are not even paying that much we pay what we pay um 37 let's say 37 what 37 usd okay for both the domain and everything um you know attached to it so we're gonna add to cart over here and then what we proceed to what to check out so as you can see this is the amount that we're going to pay 36 um 0.62 dollars which is about um you know about 37 dollars now if you're in ghana uh, it's not that much costly it wouldn't even be 370 dollars okay it's gonna be lesser than that and you are building a whole business 
on the web for what 370 ghana cities which is very very cheap okay so um 337 dollars is also what is also cheap if you take it to euro it's gonna be what less cheaper if you take it to pounds it's gonna be less cheaper okay so that is it so um you know you get this one as what 37 dollars and then you can click on confirm over here click on just confirm order and then go ahead and then what sign up okay so you if you don't have an account make sure that you what you sign up for it if you already have an account okay you what you sign in over here you log in over here and then you proceed to what to check out over here so um that is basically how to get what the domain now after getting your domain and other things you need to log into your cpanel i've done videos and other stuff on all those things i'm not going to rush through the others because i don't want this video to be what to be very long okay you can watch previous videos i'll leave all those links in the description so that if you are interested in what connect how to connect your domain to your hosting and then install wordpress and all those things you what you'll be able to what do that watching those videos okay so after you know getting um everything and then installing wordpress we are going to what have this wordpress newly created wordpress for us okay so as you can see it says what welcome to wordpress okay this is a new installed what wordpress and if we take a look at um you know the the whole website itself this is how it looks like okay new nothing is on it everything is what everything is new okay now we are now going to design the website from scratch okay so that is it now first of all um when you get over here we want to what just you know make sure that our um you know website is uh, our dashboard is clean okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do some few website um wordpress settings okay so first i'm going to clear the dashboard so i will click on the screen option over here and then i want to take all these things over here okay i want to take everything and then so that our, my my dashboard screen will be what will be very clean okay now now that i'm clean over here i'm done over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to settings okay so i'm going to click on settings over here and then it will, it's going to take me to the general settings so as you can see um over here you can what you can um you know change your site title and everything okay so i'm going to give um this title as what digi digital library okay i'm going to give the title over here and then i'll say what keep reading okay as my what as my tagline okay so as you can see keep reading is my tagline now, i'm not going to touch this one i'm not going to touch this one and then all what i'm going to do is what i'm going to go straight and then you know because people will be logging in and other stuff i'll say anyone can what can log in and then um i'll come straight over here and then click on what save changes now of course you can check the time zone and other stuff if you want to okay and then click on what save changes now that i am done over here i'm going to go straight to what permalinks over here okay now permalinks are the links that um you know you see on the what on the website so for instance this is what this is the link okay the about page is the link um the 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 library gives you a link and all those things are what are all what are all links okay so with the permalinks how do you want your link to be like we can decide to make it plain the plane will um just bring some numbers after the what after the main website url but we want it to be what post link so that it will be what it's going to be very simple for seo purposes okay so that um if you click on what maybe um about it will be what the website name slash about okay and that is what we want so after se selecting the post name just count down over here come down over here and then click on save changes now that we are done with this one we're going to go to what um first of all we're going to leave the reading and other stuff and then we'll go to um you know set a new what a new um a new uh, we're going to install a new what a new theme okay so now where we are now we're going to install themes and then what plugins okay so we're going to install themes and plugins and how do we install themes and plugins now to install a theme you're going to hover on appearance over here 
and then click on themes over here okay now um you might not have um you know cop this kind of themes over here you need to what maybe you have um either 2023 2021 2020 and 2019 and all those kind of themes over here but everyone and its own kind of theme that comes but if you want to add a new theme you can click on what add new over here or click on this big button add new over here and then search for the theme that we're going to what you're going to use now we're going to use the um you know the the cadence team okay this is the cadence team so you can decide to go over here and search for cadence search for cadence okay now you're gonna get this one over here you see this one which says your website your way with this beautiful lady over here and that is what we want so just click on what install now you see something like this which is install just click on it and click on what activate okay now after activating it you're gonna get um, this one is going to what, activate for you now you can go ahead and then check your what refresh it and check how your website looks like this is what this is a new theme so it has what it has changed okay now now that we have our theme installed we're going to install our what our plugins now to install plugins over here we hover on plugins over here and then click on what now let's go to the installed plugins as you can see i have no plugins installed over here okay so um i want to what, add a new what a new plugin now of course when you install cadence team it will tell you to install the cadence starter what um template i'm not going to install starter template but as you can see you can what you can um you know click on what add new over here so let me click on add new over here and then um i'm going to search for the plugins that i'm going to use now, i'm going to use about seven plugins for this particular what website okay i'm going to start from elementor which is what a page builder okay so um for those of you who know who are you know old subscribers of this um youtube channel you know that we have done a lot of lot of videos about what elementor and most of our videos that we do we use elementor to build our what our pages for us okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to click on install now to install elementor on it now after installing we're not going to what activate it i'm going to you know install all the other plugins before we activate all of them together okay so let's go to the second plugin after installing um elementor we're going to install some other plugins okay so i'm going to install code designer now code designer is also an elementor add-on okay so um it helps you to be able to create beautiful what um woocommerce since we're going to use woocommerce in our um website okay we will need to um you know create beautiful uh, pr product you know uh, pages and products uh, make our product very look very nice okay so and that is why we need what this code designer over here so we're going to install this code designer we will install it now as you can see if you scroll down over here now this was um done using what code designer okay you see how neat and slick this whole uh, books look okay we use code designer to it to design it so i'm going to click on install i'm not going to activate it and then i'm also going to use what um royal elementor elementor okay royal elementor add-ons so we're going to um search for this plugin over here and then click on what um install now the royal elementor add-ons help us to create this beautiful um you know slider over here okay so that is why we need the royal elementor what add-on so i'm going to what um you know click on it to um install it i won't activate it yet then i am going to what install woocommerce okay so um for those of you who are also old um, subscribers of you know that woocommerce are used for what creating shop okay now to be able to create a library where people can be able to borrow and other stuff um we don't have any library software for i haven't seen any library software for um you know for wordpress so i use the what the woocommerce to be able to what help me to be able to create what i want okay the idea that i what i have in my head and the idea that um one particular um you know subscriber brought ahead and that is why um, we are using what the woocommerce okay so i'm going to install now click on install now over here and then um the next one that we are going to install is what we call um wp code okay or 
um, you know, code snippet. Okay, so we're gonna search for what? Just search for code snippet over here. Now, code snippet will help you to be able to what? To be able to insert other, you know, codes, um, PHP codes, and other codes that you want to what, install, install, um, insert into your what? Your website. Now, as you can see over here, if you go to, um, you know, single product page or if you go to all the um the library page over here you realize that we have borrow book over here borrow book over here now how we were able to do this was you we used what the code snippets to add some other codes to what to our website to change the add to cut um you know test over here to what to borrow book okay now we use um something we call chat gpt okay so for those of you who are also new over here chat gpt is what is an ai software which um helps you to what to you know do anything that you want okay so we told chat gpt to create uh, to write a code for us which we can be able to use it to what to change the what the add to cut test over here and then it did justice to that and then we inserted the code into our website and then our um you know add to cut test was changed so as you can see the my previous videos i created videos about chat gpt whereby we what we use it to write codes and other stuff if you haven't watched it please go back and then what and watch it okay so now that we have um this one we're going to use this one of our wp code so just um click on install now we're not going to activate it yet now the next one is what we need to build a form okay so we use forminator okay so forminator to what to build now of course there are so many form um, you know plugins on wordpress but i'm going to use forminator because i love using forminator i feel like it have so many functions that most of the other forms do not do not have and it's also simple to use and easy what easy to use so i'm going to what click on install now over here and then the last one that um plugin that i'm going to talk about uh, i'm going to what install is also what um check out field editor Now check out field editor if you go to the website and then if you go to what um let's say you know let me click over here and then if you go to what check out over here you're gonna see that um the field the checkout field has been what edited okay so as you can see um the the normal woocommerce have so many with shipping and other stuff okay but because we are not going to ship any book we are not going to do anything we are what we just need some few so we removed some of the what some of the things over here on this um form okay so that is what we need what ch the checkout field editor for okay now um before i even go on again now for those of you who think this website is not what is not mobile friendly of course it is what mobile friendly you can check it you, let's go to what um inspect and then you can go ahead and uh, check how mobile friendly this website is okay so as you can see you can use it on mobile without what without a hassle okay so if you click on what library over here a digital library over here you can go ahead and see what the how the home page looks like on what on mobile okay so this is how the home page looks like on what on a mobile device okay so it is mobile friendly it is what very very easy to use okay we know a lot of people um use their website on what on mobile that is why we always um, create website which is what mobile friendly okay so i'll show you how you can be able to convert your normal we um, desktop website to a, to a mobile friendly website okay so we do all that when we are what when we are in the act of what designing so um enough of the talking let's go back to the plugins over here so the checkout field editor we're going to use what this one over here okay so this one over here is what we're gonna use for WooCommerce. This is by what theme hide high. Okay, so theme high. Um, we're gonna click on install, and then um, we are ready to go. So we have about seven plugins installed. Let's go to all install plugins over here. Click over here. Click on install plugins, and then we have about seven what plugins. Now we're gonna go to inactive plugins over here, and then what are we going to do? We're gonna select all the plugins over here. Come to bulk actions. And I click on activate to activate all the what all the plugins. So click on what apply. Now of course some of the plugins will send you to a different places to what 
continue with blah 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 all those kind of stuff now when it does do not worry um just you know follow along and then what do whatever the plugin wants you to do you can also skip the step if you want to what if you want to skip the step so as you can see code designer um brought us over here okay so we have installed what or the plugin and code designer is saying that we should run with a setup what wizard okay so you can go through and run all the setup wizard that you want but i'm not going to what, run it i'm going to go straight to it to element and then you know enable some of the elements that what i need so you can decide to what, enable all or you know select the ones that you need and then you save settings okay so of course i don't need so many things i need just the shop classic and shop standard um what again let me see okay so shop slider and um, you can you know use this one if you want um and then when you come over here product title product price whatever this is what for single what single um you know page okay single product page so others also um what do i need what do i need you know anything that you feel it is what so i'm going to what activate this one and activate this one also um and then i think that is basically all that i need okay i don't really need anything plenty so um basically that is all what i need image gallery cut and all those checkout all this some of them are pro okay so and um, these are the things that i need and all what i need to do is to click on what save settings okay to save my word settings so i'm done with what code snippets i'm going to click over here to delete uh, to cancel this one the um the 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 reset setup wizard that is on top over here and then you can also what uh, remove this one from it if you don't want to what, use it okay so now that i am done with um the the, set, um, the setup for what code designer i'm going to go straight to what the plugins over here and then i'm going to see which ones i need to what, set it up or which ones i don't need to what, um, you know set up okay so um let me see let me see let me see so um i think everything is fine but the one i need to what, set it up is what woocommerce over here okay so i'm going to click on what settings over here and when i click on settings what i'm going to do is what i'm going to you can either go through the setup wizard by just clicking on what woocommerce home and then you can what you can go ahead and then um you know go through the setup now over here make sure you enter your store address okay so i'm going to what um just enter any address over here so i'm going to enter the store address choose your country over here okay so i'm going to choose what um ghana okay so and then select the what the region okay so i'm going to select ghana eastern region and then you know the selling locations okay so um you know where do you want to sell to and all those things i want to sell to a specific country and then the country is what just ghana because um i'm not shipping i'm not doing anything I want to select to what this specific country and then the shipping location okay so i want to disable um, shipping and shipping calculations okay i don't want any what shipping because i just want people to come do the borrowing online and then come and collect the book from me okay from the library so that when they come the books are being prepared already i just would give it to them they send it away okay and that is it so now after i'm done yes i the currency i want it to be um us dollar of course you can change it to any currency that you want i'm going to click on what save changes over here and then i am good to go okay guys so now that we are done with um you know the store address settings and other stuff now let's go to what the product over here okay so we're going to click on product over here and then we're going to do some few settings at the product so over here we have the shop page which was um, which has been created for us by what by WooCommerce automatically and then I think everything is okay so redirect to cart page after successful addition um, you can decide to what redirect to cart page after successful addition you can choose this one okay so um, you can also what remove this one okay so enable adjust add to cart button on archives so you can what enable it okay so we will enable it and then um you know after doing everything you can click on what save changes over here okay so now that we are done you can go through whether inventory 
um, you know downloadable products and all those things if you want people to download you can check out how the downloadable product settings are but we're gonna go towards payment over here so with the payment what are we going to do we're going to what we're going to allow cash on what cash on um, delivery okay cash on delivery so we're going to what set up what um, set it up so after allowing cash on delivery we're going to set it. Now remember that when you go over here and you go to ch the checkout over here you see that the checkout have what cash on delivery over here but it says what cash on day of what borrowing so I'm going to copy this one over here and I'm going to use it over here so instead of cash on delivery I'm going to say cash on the day of what borrowing and then um, over here to it says what pay with cash upon what borrowing so I'm going to what, copy over here and then just paste this one what in over here okay I'm going to put the full stop over here and then the instructions um, is what just you know pay with cash upon what upon borrowing so basically that is it so what shipping method do you want to use now of course you can use we can use what any shipping method but we want to use what local pickup over here okay so we see what local pickup means that they are going to what pick up on what on from our store okay so and then what again all what we need to do is what click on save changes over here so now that we have we are done with it now because we removed what we are we are di we disabled our shipping and shipping calculations we are not going to see shipping over here okay so there is no shipping over here but let's go to account and privacy okay so the guest checkout okay so uh, do you want to what, allow people to place order without what account no i want everybody to have account so that i can trace them when they don't bring my books okay so allow customers login into existing what existing account during checkout and then allow customers to create an account during what checkout also allow customers to create an account on my account page yes and then when creating an account automatically send no i don't want them i don't want the system to send um, them automatic i want them to create their own username and then set their own what password so i'm going to remove all this over here and then also account eraser request remove personal data from this one you can decide to what allow it or not allow it and then after everything um you know if everything is done all what i need to do is to click on what save changes to save the changes that what we have done so you can also go to what emails over here you can you know go ahead and then check the emails so as you can see um all the emails that you want now to make sure that your emails are delivered make sure that you have what a custom email address which is related to your what your domain name okay so as you can see this is what copy at um buzuzu.com okay meaning that um, it is a custom email address now if you come over here it is the same thing over here okay so it will be from what from digital library and then the email address is this one over here and then you can what you can decide to give a footer text and all those things okay so um built with either because um if you want to remove the built with woocommerce you can decide to what, write anything okay so let's say powered by by kitech digital okay so that is it. and then you can go ahead and then what you know change your um change your 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 how do you call it your base color okay so that you'll be what you'll be unique nobody will know that you're using what woocommerce over there and then click on what save changes to what to save the changes that you have made so um i think we are almost true now uh, this one integration we are not going to integrate anything to it for now and then this one is what advanced so with advanced um what does it do all what it does is what your page setup um you know api setups web hooks and other stuff if you have to what, set up all those things over here okay so make sure that um everything is what um you know done well now you we need to what, create this one which is what which is the um terms and then what condition page okay 
so now that we've done everything the setting of uh, the woocommerce now we are good to go our next step is what uh, to check out the pages now let's check out all the pages that we have and then if you have to create different pages we what we create so woocommerce created their cart page the um checkout page the my account page um you know the privacy policy page was created for us by wordpress uh, refund and what returns was created by what by um woocommerce Sim sample page wordpress and then the shop page was created by what by woocommerce okay so now um what do we have to do now we can what we can decide to create one other page which is what terms and conditions and another page which is what um you know the home page and then account page okay but before that we can even change this shop to a uh, to library so that this will be our library what page okay so let's um you know quickly do that and then go now i'm going to click on add new i'm going to create three more pages the home page and um, contact page about page oh four more pages here about page and then um the terms and conditions what page okay so um to do that i'm going to just say home okay i'm just going to click say home and then just publish okay so i'm just creating the pages without um designing it okay so the home page is created i'm going to create another page which is called what the about page so i'm going to call this one about and then i'm going to click on publish and then i'll click on what add new to add a different page i'm going to call this one contact contact not contact so i'm going to what um publish it and then the next one also that i'm going to create is the terms and conditions page okay so i'm going to just going to call it terms okay terms so that it will be very simple so i'm going to call it terms and then i'll click on what publish over here to publish the page okay so now that i have it um all those pages done so let's go to all pages and see all the pages that we have created so as you can see we have all the pages created over here now i'm going to what edit this shop page i'm going to edit the name and then say it is called what change the name to what to library okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um edit the name and then call it what library oh library okay so i'm going to call this one library and then i will what you can go ahead and even change the what the url over here but i'll leave it as it is and then after that after i'm done with all the pages okay so now i'm done with all the pages i'm done with all the pages now what i want to do is what i want to go to settings again and then go to what um reading okay so i'm going to go to reading over here and then this time around you see um this is what this is our home page okay so if you look at over here the home page displays what it displays the blog post okay but we don't want it to display blog post so for instance if we if you go to what we've created a home but if you go to what um you know the home as in the home page it's going to have a name like what home over here okay we don't want it like that we don't want this kind of url we just want the home page to display this um, url for us okay so over here we want the home page to display a static page okay so what we want to do is what we click over here we select the static page and then we select the home as what as home okay the home page as home over here now of course you can create a blog page and then what um you know just select it as a blog page but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to what click on save changes because i don't have a blog um you know blog over there to blog okay so now that i have this um saved now if i go over here and i click on refresh over here you see the home is what is gone but this is what this is our what our home page okay and that is exactly what we want okay now of course our home page is what is nothing to write home about but we're going to what we're going to work on it and then 
um, redesign it to, to make it a very good home page okay so now that we have this one done um, I think we are almost good to go the next step that we are going to do is to create the books categories okay so we're going to create the category of what of books that we want to what we want to um, you know we want to um, sell um, um, you know let people come and then borrow or come and read in our in our library now with this um, you can create as much category as you want but with this tutorial I'm just going to create about three or four categories okay so I'm going to create go to Book, um, product over here okay so under product I'll come to what categories and then I'm going to what create the uh, product or the book categories that we want okay so um, one is already created which is the uncategorized product um, um, you know um, books okay so there are some books we don't categorize them now I want to name this one as what motivational motivational books so we have motivational books okay so I just add it and then educational books okay so I'll say educational books and then the last one I'll say is maybe um, marketing books so basically i'm going to what just um, use these three categories to, uh, to design uh, to to create the books that we are going to uh, that we are going to create uh, okay so now that we have these categories created now the next step is what uh, to create the books itself okay so to create the books itself we're going to click under product over here we're going to cl click on what um, add new over here and then um we what i'll show you how you can be able to uh, create the books and then we what we use it to what to design our what, our website so um let's go back to this website and then let's go to the library and then let's see the books that they what they have over here so as you can see over here we have what um how to win friends and influence people make your bed the seven habits of highly effective people um the power of positive thinking the subtle art of not giving a fuck and then thinking think and grow rich okay so the first book that we're going to what we're going to um create is what think and grow rich okay so think and grow rich is one of the best books um you can ever have okay so now that i have this one now guys as you can see all the books that i have over here if you click on it and you go in, into it you realize that the book have what this book have what um you know a short uh, description over here and a long description okay now with it i created you know the long description from what from chat gpt now for those of you who don't know chat gpt it is what um an ai software which helps you to what to be able to um, answer any question that you want so i just went to what um you know open ai okay i just went to open ai or chat dot open ai dot com open ai dot com okay so let's say chat i'll leave the link in the description so that you you guys who what you know what i'm talking about chat dot open ai dot com slash chat okay so i just you know um entered this one and then um if you have not you know registered over here it will ask you to what register using you can use your google to what to register now of course they are experiencing massive and massive and massive high demand okay so they said that we should what hang on and then i just asked what chat um gpt to what i just asked him to answer some few questions for me so i just told chat gpt that i want what a summary okay a summary about what think and grow rich so um i said write a summary about the book and then i put the book in quotation mark think and grow rich and then i just entered so chat gpt um you know gave me all the answers that i need and then i used the summary to what to um 
uh, use it as my what my short and long word description so as you can see it is what is thinking okay and then it is what it is writing over here so as you can see that is what ChatGPT doing its work for me okay and that is how i got what the summary and then what um the summary of the book in there as you can what you can all see okay so and um, when ChatGPT what gave me the summary i just copied it and then i use it in the what in the um website so guys so i just um you know just copied this whole thing over here okay so as you can see i just copied it just copy came to what came over here and then placed this one over here okay i just did this one and then the next one is what i copied the the top one over here okay so i just decided to what, to copy this one and use it as my what my short description okay so that is it so i screw down i am um, i scroll down over here and then i paste this one over here okay so basically that is it so i have my long description and then what my short description now with this one also i just enter my price that i want i want it to be 15 if um you know if you want to manage stock you can what click over here and then add the number of quantity of books that you want you have available for people to come and what come and borrow okay so you can decide to increase and decrease all the time so um you know let's say i have 50 available the same um you know a book 50 is what 50 is available so now i can if there is shipping you can add it but since we've disabled shipping and other stuff we don't have it. so now that we have this one now we'd like to set our product what image so click over here to set your what your product image so with a product image you can what you can select from your what from your media library okay or upload new one so i'm going to what upload um you know i'm going to upload new um images over here so i have these images that i'm going to use use for um the product over here so if you want to use this image you know i can what i can give it to you guys okay so i'm just going to uh, select some of them okay so i'm just going to uh, select this ones over here and then click on open to what uh, to upload them on the what on the website so let's wait for it to upload and then we continue okay guys so now that it is it has been what uploaded now that it has been uploaded now we can select our think and grow rich and then we can what set it as well the product image over here so guys as you can see that is what set now you can what you can decide to select the what the category where the product falls in so it could be educational and then what motivational also okay so you can give it to a, a product tag and then also give it to a um, select product gallery for it for it i'm not going to do all those things i just need just this ones and then i'll click on what published with to publish my new book okay M my new library what library book so now if i go over here and then um you know i go to let me see i go to library okay so let's say the library is the shop so i go to shop i can be able to what, find one book over there so as you can see i have one book over here okay and it says to well, think and grow what rich and if i select it over here i'm going to see the short description and then i also see the long description over here and that is what exactly how you can be able to what um you know create books okay create books on the what on the website so um i'm going to create some you know some other books over here and come back later on okay guys so i have created um some few books over here for you guys to, to see and then for us to be able to use it to create the um the website so these are the books that i created so the first book that we created was this one and then i have created this particular books over here so that you guys will, will um, we can be able to use it to create the website that we want to use so um our next you know part that we're going to do is to um to create our header okay so uh, we want to what um, create a menu and then we will what we'll start designing the home page so we're going to create menu okay 
you want to create um the the website menu so um first of all let's hover on appearance over here and then we go to menus over here so to create menu you hover on appearance over here and then you'll be able to what um you know locate menus over here so you'll be redirected to this page over here now give a name for your menu i'm going to call it the primary menu and then of of course i've been typing and typing that is why um i see menus over here okay okay so after typing in your name um you can select the menu location so we're going to select the menu location so we want it to be a primary menu okay and then also a mobile menu so we want it to be the primary menu and then on the mobile also we want it the same what menu to be there so we're gonna create um click on create menu over here and then um it will create the menu for us now we have created the menu our primary menu but there is nothing in the menu okay so we have to add menu items from the left column over here so um what we're going to do is what i'm going to click on view over here so these are what pages so uh, under the menu items you have pages post custom links and then what you have categories we have what woocommerce um, endpoint now we're going to watch just add the pages over here okay so we will add the home page we we'll add the um, about page we're going to add the contact page we're going to add the library which is the shop page we're going to add my account over there so these are the pages that we what we're going to add so we will what we'll add them to what the uh, menu over here so these are the menu items so if you look at the um you know the website that we can have home about library contact my account so the same way home about the library will come here contact my account okay and that is what that is now with the my account um i want this a to be what to be big okay yeah so um basically that is it so we click on what save menu over here so we're going to click on the save menu to save the menu that we what we've um done now we have our menu saved over here so now if you go over here and we refresh now this is what we have about cards whatever it is now if you refresh it it's going to what pick up what the menu that we created so as you can see this is our menu that we what we have created so we are done with what creating our menu and um we can go ahead to design our what our home page okay guys so to start designing the home page what we need to do is to just um you know go to pages over here okay so hover on pages and then click on all pages now you remember that i've already created um i've already created the home page over here okay but there, there is nothing on it so um, i'm going to take you through so that you see how it looks like so this is the home page of the website but there is nothing on it but we want to make the home page like this one okay like this one so we want to design it and make it like this and so that when whenever somebody you know use a um a website address and then url and then you know enter it on the browser it's going to open this one for the person okay so that is exactly what we are going to do so um what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the pages over here and then we're going to click on edit the home page so we are going to edit the home page okay so we're going to edit the home page so that we get a very nice you know customized design for ourselves so um i'm just going to um you know redesign the same thing as i did for the first one so that you guys will know how i did it now um you can choose a template for it you can go over here and then you know select the template which is what um elementor full width over here okay just select this template and then maybe you know update it so now after that just go to um edit with elementor click on the blue button which says edit with elementor to edit the to to start designing the website with what with elementor so we're going to design the website using elementor page builder now for those of you who don't know elementor page builder i have done a an intensive video about elementor page builder i'll put the link in the description so that you guys what can go and then watch it and then know everything but then it is very simple to use um elementor is made up of widgets and then what um you know just some structures and other stuff okay so um you can select a structure okay 
and then dragging a widget in it and that is what and that is how it is it is done so for instance um when you open it this is how it's going to make now this is from the royal um you know elementor that we installed elementor add-on and then this is for from code designer okay so all this and this is one from elementor so with this template over here you can decide to add any template pre-designed template that either elementor or code designer or um you know royal um add-on for elementor have already were designed for you okay so if i click over here it's going to take me to um royal elementor now some of them are free some of them are what are not free and then you can just you know um, import them okay if i click on it to view it i can what i can view the way it looks like and then i can just go ahead and then click on insert over here and then this one will be um you know will be my website all what i need to do is just edit the content in it and then i'm what i'm good to go and that is it but i'm not going to use any of these ones okay the same applies to code designer and then um you know the elementor um folder over here but i'm not going to use any of this one all what i'm going to do is i'm going to go straight and then you know design it from scratch so um the first thing that we're going to do is what to design the hero session over here now forget about the top over here the top we do it in the customization session but with this one what we're going to do is what we design the hero session over here and then we design this session over here and then we're going to design this um, you know call to action over here and then design this um, book session over here and then also another call to action over here okay and that is all what we're going to do and after that then we do the what the header and then the simple footer that we have over here so as simple as that so what we're going to do is um if you look at this one this hero session we have um you know the background and then some few things written over here and then we have what um read a book over here okay and that is um what we're going to do now um i want to pick the what the the font um size and then the font style everything over here so what i would do is i have some you know um extensions installed over here okay so um i'm going to just go through and then um what do i need okay so first of all i'm going to use the the color picker over here okay to pick the color over here so that you guys will know the color i used okay so with this one i just um select it and then come over here click on it and as you can see i can get the color over here okay so this is the color that i use so i'm just going to copy it and then you know save it in a text form over here so i'm going to search for text okay let me just open this one and then click over here and then click on new and then i'm going to paste this one over here so this is my what my color okay now um i will come back over here and then close this one okay so now i have my color done now i need to pick the text okay so um the textile and other things so let me go to um what font okay so if i want to know um what exactly the font that i use now if you go over here i will see the font over here so um the s m y t h e okay that is what i what i used over here okay and this one is what monseret okay so as you can see this one is what monseret and this one is what s m y t h e okay and that is what what i use so s m y s s m y t h e and then i also use what monseret so basically these two fonts okay so um i will just write the font over here so that i wouldn't be going ahead and then checking it okay so the font for the hero is s m y t h e and then um the font for the text and body text everything the button text everything is montserrat okay so montserrat now these are the two fonts that I, I will be using throughout okay so basically that is it now that i have this one done now i can go ahead and then come over here and then start to design it so i'm going to pick a two column structure over here so i'll click on the plus and then pick this two column structure over here these two things over here now 
if i click on it you see that this panel what will open for me which says your edit session okay so i'm going to edit this session over here so um what i will do is i want it to the height to be what a minimum height so i'm going to set some min height over here and then i'm going to what set it to 700 okay so i'm going to say 700 okay so that it's going to be what um bigger now after doing that um what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on style over here and then i'll go to the background choose a classic background choose an image for it and then i have to what drag in my images over here so i'm going to what um you know select my images and then drag in so this is the images that are used okay now don't worry i'll give all these images for you for free now it's new year so everything i'm doing over here i'm giving it for you for free okay so i'll give it to you for free you guys are my loyal subscribers so i'm going to give everything that i used on in this website for you for free so that you can what you can download them for free okay after that just check the link in the description and then you can get all the images and everything that i use for free so now that i have this one done over here i'm also going to what, um go back to my library over here and then i'm um, dragging my what my logo also in it okay i'm going to drag in my logo in it i'm going to go back over here and then what again i think it's it's all fine okay so um after dragging my logo i don't know why it's um it's like this but let me just refresh it okay um let me just reload it so that this glitch what will go sometimes it happens um when you are dropping it and you don't take care it gives you that kind of what blue screen uh, glitch okay but when i refresh it it's it's going to go okay so um you know this is what the draft that i i, I got over here so if i click on the this six dot over here it will open the edit session for me over here and then i can go back over here and then you know select the what the image that i wanted to uh, to select now i don't want to just use images okay i want to use what slideshow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to slideshow and then drag in some what images or, or copy some images so i'm going to copy down to three four five okay let's say this five images over here and then um i'm going to go and then choose what gallery or create gallery so these um five images over here is good to go and then i'll click on what insert over here so now guys i have these images done over here now i what i'll come to the images side over here and then with the background i'll say it is what should be cover and then with the position i'll say center center okay so that um it's going to be what very nicely done for me so if i do it like this, this is how it's going to what it's going to appear okay just like the way it appears over here very nicely okay so that is it now i'm going to copy this text over here this text i'm going to copy it and then come to my what my um elemental over here and then um what i'm going to do is i'm going to what click on this plus icon over here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, bring in a heading you know text over here widget over here and then paste in the word the text that i would i copied okay so as you can see i have this one over here now what do i do what i do is um i go to style over here to style okay change this one to what to let's say white okay i'm going to change this one to white and then let me go back over here and then you see that there is what a kind of like um you know a dark overlay on top of the the images okay so what i'm going to do is um before i even you know style this one i'm going to go to the six dot over here okay so let me just click on this six dot over here and then go back to what the edit session over here and then i'll scroll down okay now you see this one which says what background overlay just click on it okay now if um, for those of you who know you know who have been using elementor with me we've been going through all this thing countless times so what we have to do is just after selecting the background you can choose the normal or the hover and then with the background type you can choose the classic or the word the gradient but i'm going to choose classic over here and then i'll use a color instead of an image so i'm going to use a color over here and i'll give it to it a dark overlay okay so a very dark i'll pick a very dark color that is a black color okay now of course i can you know go ahead and then increase the what the opacity 
okay you can decide to increase or decrease the what the opacity anyhow you want it okay just for the what um for the words to uh, to really show okay and that is why i did that so after doing this i think it's enough or what i know 72 is what the opacity to be 72 is okay just click on this pencil icon over here to go back to the what the editing of this text or the styling of this text now we are going to go to style over here and then with a the, um, typography we're going to choose the the typography that we what we selected this one over here the font which is the what smy smy th so we're going to search for the s m y t h over here and then we use this one so as you can see this is how it is okay now we will increase this one to 55 um i think 55 is uh, quite too big so let's say 45 okay so 45 is okay and then with this one which says to a semi bold we're going to go back to what to normal okay so we use the normal one for it and then um if you want to you know transform the text style it's in different way decorate it in the very it is what up to you but i'm going to leave it as it is okay so um if i go back over here this is how it's going to be but since i don't want the doctor um to be um, disassociated with the zeus i will what i will just come over here and then increase it a little bit okay increase it a little bit to let's say 47 okay so now i would still decrease it because I want them to be in the same line okay so yeah so this one is, i think is what it's quite okay so this is this is quite okay so um let me see the the size the size is what 43 okay so 43 is what's quite okay now that um you know i have this one done now what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to go to this i'm going to click on this nine dot icon over here okay the grip icon over here just click on it okay now i'm going to drag in a button over here so i'm going to drag in a button over here with this button now you see that there is a button over here which says so read a book okay so i'm going to do same over here and then right over here read a book uh book okay so now we have to uh, style it so with a read a book um i'm going to um you know send it to the what to the library page over here okay so i'm going to send it to this page over here okay so i'm going to say let's say shop and then see if the shop will open if the shop doesn't open then i'm going to write with library and then i'm sure i'm going to get this library page over here which is this one okay so now that i have this one this page over here so i have linked it okay to what to this button over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then style the what the the text um the the button okay so now as you can see um the typography is what montserrat okay that is the typography that we use so i'm going to use what montserrat okay this one over here which says what read a book and then um with the font height and all those things you can what you can decide to what, play around it um with the font size also you can also decide so i'm going to use let's say 18 okay 18 is quite okay and then with this one you can decide to go either 600 okay so that it will be a little bit bolder and then with this one we're going to what um copy this you know um color code over here okay so we're going to copy the color code and paste the color code over here to give us that red fill okay so now you see that we have the what um the red color over here but then the button is different you see this button is what is um a little bit bigger okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to play around with what, the padding okay so i'm going to remove all the padding i'm going to give here let's say 15 15 i'm going to give the bottom also um 15 okay i'm going to give the bottom also 15 then i'll give you a 20 or let's say 50 or 40 okay so that will be a little bit bigger i'll also give you a 40 okay so as you can see we have what bigger so if you want you can give you what um let's say 20 okay depending on how you want the the button to be like okay so you can what you can choose um any size that you want so i think this one is what is quite okay and then i'm going to go to the typography again and then instead of 18 i'm going to say let's say 19 20 and then over here i'm going to come to what to normal okay um and then you know let me just increase the size a little bit too 24 25 okay so 25 is quite okay 
and then i'll come over here and then as you can see i have the same thing um over here okay so i have the same thing um just the same thing over here and that is what and that is um how i created this hero session so this hero session is what is done okay is done now let's go down over here so i'm going to what update it now remember anytime you create something update it so that um you when something happens to your machine you're not going to what, lose it okay so now that i'm done with the top over here i'm going to come to what to this um you know slider over here this product slider or um, book slider over here so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to here over here i'm going to click on this grip icon over here and then i'm going to look for the royal um you know uh, um the royal uh, product uh, slider or what carousel okay so this one is what i'm looking for so you can use the post grid or the what the wood grid so i'm using wood grid okay because i'm using uh, the product so i'm going to drag in this one over here okay so just you know copy and drag okay over here and as you can see you're going to have what something like this okay very nicely done very neatly done okay so depending on what what you want you can what you can have it over here so now um we have to what we have to you know look at the layout now with the layout um what do we want so um we want the layout to be what to be you know a fit rows equal whatever it is and all those things and then um let's let's go through it and then see how it looks like okay so we want it to be what a product carousel or whatever it is and we want to see how the layout is also going to it is also going to be like okay so with the element over here so we're going to remove some things um from it and then um, we're going to remove the the add to cart we're going to remove the price we're going to remove the rating um you know the title okay the product category okay so now we have um only this ones over here okay so making it what um a little bit similar to what we we want okay so now let's um let's go through the settings over here so with the filters over here so if i want to show filters i want to uh, delete the filters okay so i don't want any what any filters to uh, to come okay and then um you know with a product how do you want it you want it to be categories and all those things you can what you can show it and then with the animation and pagination is over there you can what you can use whatever you want okay so with a pagination over here you can see it over here all over here now let's go to the layout again and then um, i'm going to what choose this one which says what the slider okay so i'm going to use this slider over here so as you can see guys this is what i wanted okay so slider stroke carousel now we're not going to use what um the masonry okay or the fit rose height and all those things what we are looking for is what is a slider okay so that is what exactly what we wanted okay the slider okay so we want it to be what something like this okay something like this and we are what we are getting it there so first of all let's uh, make sure that we remove the certain things that we we don't want from it so we we want navigation which is an angle we don't want pagination okay so pagination we don't want pagination okay so um infinite loop and all those things you can leave it as it is now now that we have this one you don't even this one you can even select the number you want it to, uh, to show okay whether two or one okay so i want it to show two and then um you know slice to scroll so you can decide to um, how many slides do you want it to show that two is okay and then um with the spacing okay which is um this one you can what you can check it out okay so i'm going to leave it as default as it is now that i have this one done over here now what i'll go is i'll go to the style over here and then i'm going to what style it the way i want it okay so um what do i need i need only the um how do i call the navigation okay so i want to adjust style the what the navigation instead of the blue color i'm going to use the what our color that we use okay so with this one over here so as you can see 
we are having what this color but with this one we're gonna watch reduce the what the opacity a little bit okay yeah so i think this one is what's quite okay and that is what and that is it okay now you can the, even the hover you can what you can make the hover rather um you know deeper so that when you, somebody hover on it it's going to be what, deep somebody hover on it's going to what deep okay so now i think we are what we are good to go we can update this one over here because we've done the changes that we want we've done the settings that we want now let's click on the um you know that night six dots over here and then what we're going to do is i'm um, going to give it what um advanced what uh, settings okay so we're going to go to advanced over here and then we're going to give it to what um you know pattern top and down or you can decide to give it a margin so let's give it a margin 50 top 50 down okay 50 top 50 down so let's say um let, let's just say 90 90 90 okay so guys as you can see over here this is exactly what you're gonna what you're gonna have okay so um you don't worry about this glitch now when you view it in the what in the um you know uh, um <clears throat> in the raw side you are going to see where we are so let's just view it and see how it looks like so as you can see this is how it looks like okay in the website itself okay now this is um sometimes elementor have that kind of um glitch okay over here so if you want to get rid of it you can just refresh it okay and then I, i'm sure it's gonna go so let me just um, refresh the website and let's see what happens okay guys so as you can see after i refreshed it this is how um it is it has become okay back to normal back to where it is now let's go to the next um you know session over here now with this session we have a motivational uh, power books and then we have what um this thing written under it and then we have what this um you know how do you call it um button over here so we're gonna what what we're gonna do is we're just going to what um copy this session over here okay so i'm going to copy this session over here and i'm going to paste it over here okay now the reason why i'm going to do that is i'm just going to what um just do some small editing on it so I'm, i'll click on this one which is the edit session the six dot over here and then come to what come to the style over here and then instead of um you know the slideshow i'm just going to say what classic okay and then i'm going to what i'm going to give it just one so let's see the image that we use so think and what and grow it so we use this what this image over here and that is it so this one and then we're going to come back to um over here we're going to make it center center we're going to make it to what um let's see if it is okay so it is what sticky over here so what we're going to do is the attachment is going to make it what uh, fix so that it what it will fix over there and then um with the repeat we say no repeat with the size we're going to make it what cover okay so now that we have this one done now we can you know go to the layout now as you can see this is too big okay so we can what we can reduce the size of it okay so let's say 400 so 400 is quite okay okay so 400 so what we're going to do is um, we're going to what change this one change um you know this we're going to change this one to a motivational what books powerful motivational books copy this one come over here and then just change this one remove this one and paste this one over here now i'm going to come over here and then copy now of course you can i'm just copying because um i'm just showing you how you'll be able to what, add text and other stuff to it so over here underneath we want to add a text over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this nine dots over here and then i will drag in a text editor okay so just drag in a text editor over here okay and then um, you have this default text in it just remove it and then paste in your text or type in your your text that you want to what you want to um, others to read or want it to be on your website and then go to style and then you can what you can style what your what your um you know your text okay so as you can see we can change the word the typography change the colors of it 
change this one to it Montserrat. Okay, so we're gonna change it to Montserrat. Montserrat. Okay, so as you can see, um, it is done. Give it um, let's say 18. Okay, so um, I think we are good to go. This one too is what is done. Okay, so as you can see, we are what we are all good to go. This one is done. Now what I'm gonna do is there is this gap over here. Okay, so I want to remove it. So I'll click on over here and then go to advance of it and then um you know um there is a pattern okay so i'm going to remove that kind of pattern okay so i'm going to give it a negative what 20 at the bottom okay so now the, it's not a pattern it's rather a margin okay so let me just you know cut this one go to the margin itself and then paste the negative 20 over there and see as you can see the margin is what is gone okay that space is gone and that is what that is okay so um, I'll update it and then um, you know we are good to go so now the next one is what is this one over here okay with this um, you know books over here with what with prizes um, over here and that is exactly what we are um, about to do so over here what we are going to do is um, we're going to um, you know add a new session over here we're going to add a um, single column session okay we're going to add a single column session over here and then let's see how this one works so there are spaces and other stuff over here so with a single column session we're going to give it with a minimum what height okay and that is what we want now um, let's go to the um, this script icon over here and then we go to what um, code designer over here now we're going to use either this or this i don't remember which one i use but you can use any of them okay depending on how you want your design to be like so I'm going to use the shop classic first if it doesn't work for me then I'll use the shop standard so um, as you can see the shop classic is what um, you know I used first and then it didn't work for me and then I you can decide to make it this way the way you want but you see I didn't want these things over here okay I just wanted um, you know the price the price um, the, the boring price and then the um how do you call it the title of the word of the book okay just like that now i don't want these plenty of things to be here i just want it to be like this design over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one i'm going to remove this one so um, let me just delete this one and then i'll come look for the shop standard rather and then drag in this one over here so um as you can see um this is what what we have okay so um this one too is not what i really want but let me try and see if i can what, do some changes in it let me give it a three column okay and then um let's go to here and then see what we can what we can do so okay let me go to the card over here okay so guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one okay i'm going to remove this one and then still use the what the shop um classic okay i'm going to come over and then do some tweaks and other stuff about the shop what classic okay so we have the three column which is what exactly what we want and then um you know we will have to what, take out some things that we don't want okay so we want to hide this one okay and then let's see the layout also uh, let's make it this way and see so this is how it's going to what it's going to make and then with the wish list we're going to what remove it from it okay so as you can see we are having exactly what we wanted and then what again do we want to do we don't want any pagination okay so what we want is we just want to six um, um books to be here so um, guys as you can see I have this one but um, this text is too big for me this text is too what it's too big for me it is too big for me I want to what, reduce um, you know the the spacing in it okay so that I get um, text which is what which is all the same in the same line okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go to to um, you know the style over here and then with a the card, I'm going to leave it as it is. But I'm going to come to 
um, first of all I'm going to come to the product price okay now I want to change this one to um, this particular color okay so I want to what, change this one paste this color by here so that it will be what red just like what just like the way we have this one okay now with the product title what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave it as black but I'm going to change the um, the size to let's say 14 okay now 14 is quite okay so let me see how it behaves okay so 14 is quite okay for the product price or uh, let me make it let's say 15 okay so 15 is okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down now as you can see we have what line spacing over here okay so I'm going to what, close the spacing I'm going to close the spacing so let me just increase it a little bit to um, you know two okay so this is what's quite okay so as you can see all in the same what line okay all the texts are in the same what in the same line and that is what and that is what I wanted so now I have this one done now the next one is this there is you know this space is too close to what, this side okay I don't want it that way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this um, six dot over here go to advanced and then um, under the advanced session I'm gonna what um, you know give um, a little bit margin for it so I'm gonna give um, top and down 50 okay which will be quite or you can let's make it uniform just like what this one 90 90 okay so now that I have this one done um, I think the last one left for us to do is what is this one okay so um, now we can what go ahead and then what you know create our, what, our next session so with the next session what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this one so I'll copy this one and then come over here and then paste it over here okay so guys what is in the next session this one just this one over here, this text okay it says what just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day okay and that's exactly what I'm going to paste over here so just one small thought positive thought in the morning can change your whole day and I'm going to delete this one from here I'm going to delete it and then I'll use the same what book that this person also um, this website to use so I'm going to what, click over here come to the style over here and then come choose an image and then the book that they use is what this one I'm going to use this one also okay so as you can see this is the book that they what they used okay so now this one is not what it's not um, scrolling okay it is what it is just there okay so I'm gonna what remove the fix and make it to a default okay so as you can see now everything works what perfectly well okay so I'm gonna what update it and now if I go over here and click on refresh now I have what a fully made what home page um, designed perfectly for what for my book website or my library website so as you can see it is what it is perfectly done now we are done with the home page let's move on to the next one okay guys so um, we've created the home page but then the home page is not mobile friendly so uh, if you right click on it and then we go to what inspect over here you realize that um, the home page is not mobile friendly okay um, even though you know all the page, uh, other other things are showing um, you know somehow but then look at how um, nasty it is over here we have to adjust it well okay so we have to what go ahead and then um, make sure that we adjust the home page to suit what our mobile devices okay so to do that um, we're gonna close this one go back to our elementor over here and then um, what we are going to do is what you see this you know responsive mo mode icon over here below over here just click on it okay and when you click on it this thing will open for you okay now we're gonna start from tablet over here so we choose the tablet and then um, we look through whether it is okay for what tablet or not but I see it is close to the edges of the what of the screen and that is not what we want okay so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna click over here and then um, you can you know make the it the way you want it by scrolling um, it this way okay so I think I'm gonna make it like 
699 or 695 okay so let's say 695 will be quite okay and then um, I'm gonna what just reduce the size of the Im um, the text over here so I'm gonna go over here and then click on this one and then instead of 43 I'm gonna make it to a 35 okay so that will be what's quite okay but with this one over here as you can see it is too big on the screen for me so I'm gonna what shrink it a little bit by using this um, slider over here okay and making it towards shrink a little bit for me so i think um i'm going to leave it at what 450 okay so 450 is what it's quite okay so as you can see we have this now now with this one i'm not going to do it with anything all i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this one and then uh, make sure that on the mobile side the pagination is what is stand what off okay so let me see let me see let me see layout okay on the tablet side the pagination is what is turned off okay yeah and then yeah it's okay so now everything is works fine now over here we're going to do the same thing as to how we did what we did the other one okay so this one also we're going to make it to what, um 695 okay which is quite okay okay and then um you know reduce this one a little bit reduce the size a little bit so we go to style of the text typography over here and then change it to instead of 43 we want to change it to what maybe 35 okay so which is quite okay this one also i'm going to what reduce its size a little bit instead of maybe 18 i'm going to change it to let's say 16 okay so yeah so i think this one is also what quite okay now because um this one and the other one are the same what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy and then just paste what style okay so let me see if it can what it can fit yeah so it has it has done now all what i need to do is to change this one to what to 35 okay so i'll go over here and then instead of 43 i'll change the size to what 35 and then i think we are what we are good to go so um with the tablet side we are what we are good to go let's go to what to mobile okay so um guys this is how the mobile also looks like now it's not really mobile friendly as we want it so what we're gonna do is um we want it to have a um, you know top space okay so i'm go i'm going to click on this one over here edit session go to advanced go to the advanced session over here and then you know remove all pardon and then give it um top 50 okay or uh, let's say top 80 okay so um with this one i'm going to position it in the middle okay so um go to what content over here and then put it to what in the middle go to style over here and then reduce the style a little bit so um, instead of 35 i'm going to say maybe um you know 28 okay yeah 28 is what is is quite not okay so i'm going to say 25 yeah 25 is okay now with this one also I'm going to click on this edit button put it in the middle over here go to style reduce the what um the pattern okay so i'm going to what unlock unlink all the pattern over here and then now what i'll give it um but bottom 10 top 10 and then this one also what let's say 25 25 25 okay and then i'll come to a typography change this side to what um 20 okay so i think this one is okay but with this one also i'm going to click over here go to layout okay and then the minimum height i'm going to what reduce it okay so i'm going to reduce it to um 250 yeah 250 is what is quite okay and then i'll still go back to what advanced okay go to advance over here and then over here instead of the 80 i'm going to give it let's say 70 okay so now this one is what quite good for me i'm good to go now i can come and then come over here click on this one now you see this dot 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 in over here i want to remove it so i'm going to go to layout okay and then i'm going to what um you know off or turn off the pagination and this is how it works okay so everything what works perfectly fine now over here also i can what put this one in the middle okay so i'll go to content click middle put this one also in the middle go to style put it in the middle 
this one also put it in the middle click on it and then alignment in the middle now with this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to what copy this style over here so i'm going to copy this one and then bring it over here and then right click over here and then paste style okay so it's going to give me the same kind of what um, style over here and that is the same way i'm going to what, do this one also copy so before i even do that let me scroll down and then do it the last one also so i'm going to what um you know paste star so that it's going to be just like that then i'm going to come to here copy it okay come back over here and then paste star so that yes i'm going to have something similar like this okay so i'm going to do the same thing applies to this one and then i'm going to say paste star okay so now i'm going to put this one in the middle i'm going to go to content over here put this one in the middle over here now of course guys if i paste style i'm going to i it, it works as if um you know um all the 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 how do you call it um the slider and everything works perfectly over here okay but that's not what we want we want this one to have a static thing we want this one to have a scrolling thing okay so we have to what change it again so we go to what, the style over here and then instead of slider we go back to our normal side and then we go to what um this one over here think and grow rich we insert it over here okay and then with the position we say center center with the um you know default um the repeat we say no repeat with the um, size we say what cover okay so we're gonna get something we're gonna get something like this okay and which is um what we want now the same thing applies and then with the um let me see yeah okay so that is what we want and then over here also we want to we'll come over here and then we'll change um it to what to this uh, picture but we're gonna go over to classic come over here and then change it to uh, this image over here so now we're gonna get something um similar to this one and this one um you can't see it because the book is what pushed outside um to the other side with the position i'll see what um center left uh let me see um you know center center and see yeah so at least we have a tip of it or we can even custom it make it a little bit custom okay so um let's you know try and then what and see what we can we can what do about it okay so i'm go just going to what just going to drag in this one over here yeah very good okay now with the um with the size i'm going to change it to a cover okay so if it is cover then uh this one should be zero yeah then it should at least come a little bit small so that we're going to see um this books over here so that people will know that oh yeah it is what uh, they are all books okay yeah very good so now that we have this one also done now let me change the size of this one so i'm going to go to style over here go to typography instead of 35 i'm going to reduce it to let's say 28 okay so now um i have it done i'm good to go everything is perfectly done i can click on update and then my website and my home page is what is mobile friendly and that is what and that is it so i have done the mobile friendly side we are done with the what the home page okay so now let's take a look at how it looks like so um to i can click over here to exit this one and then check again to see if everything is what everything works perfect okay let me fix this one over here so i'm gonna what fix this one so i'm gonna put um think and go rich over here okay so center center um fix no repeat cover okay the same way applies to this one also i'm just fixing it okay guys i'm f i'm fixing the few things that uh, messed up when we were doing the what the um 
the mobile site okay so I'm gonna use this image over here okay so now this one is what also okay I'm gonna what? update it so now that we are done with this one um, what we have to do is just take a look at the, the 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 home page okay so this is how the home page looks like okay so now we are what we are good to go okay we are what we are good to go now we need to fix this thing okay there is a gap over here okay which is not what we really want okay so let's go back and then you know edit with what um elementa to fix this gap over here Okay, guys, so let's scroll down over here. And then realize that if we um, expand this to the full side, there is a gap over here, okay? Uh, we don't want that gap. It means that um, there is some repetition going on. So we're going to what um, click on this side. And then we're going to go to what um, size over here, a style over here. And then over here, the size, we want to make it cover. And then repeat, we say no repeat, okay? So now let's um, check and see. As you can see, nothing is what is happening, okay? And that is exactly how you can solve your um, little, little issues of it. So now let me just um, click on this one and then come over here. And then instead of the 700, I'm going to make it to 400, okay? The same way applies to it, applies to this one. Instead of the 700, I want to make it to 400, okay? Um, 400. So basically that is it now i can what update it okay now after updating it um i can take a look at it okay guys so now everything is what everything works perfectly well over here okay everything works perfectly well over here so um yeah i think there is also a, another glitch over here we need to what check and then fix it so i'm going to go to edit uh, with elementor these are some of the things sometimes you need to check all these things and then fix it so that um, it doesn't affect your what your web design what skills okay so um make sure that you have a, a very good eye to be able to be seeing all these small small petty petty mistakes that you do whenever you are what you are working on it so let me just go to what um click on this edit side and go to what go to style over here now i'll have to what make sure that everything is working what perfectly fine okay so the size is cover center center so now it w should work okay so maybe it is just elemental being what glitchy okay but then it's supposed to what work so as you can see nothing is wrong but then like i told you you need to have an uh, um attention to a detail an eye for detail okay to be able to see some of the things which um, goes wrong so as you can see i still have that kind of glitchy thing over here but it still doesn't really affect the website itself but then i think maybe it is because um of maybe something i change or something but i need to what make sure that i fix it so as you can see now it is not what it is not um you know coming again okay so guys um this is what the home page and this is how you can create a very beautiful home page for your what for your library website make it mobile responsive for it now um let's move on to the next one now the next thing that we have to do is to customize the word the header and then also customize the footer and then you know bring the button over here okay make everything what um, nicely done and then also when we go to what the library you realize that um, the library is different from what the style over there is different from this library okay so this is the what the customization side okay so if you see you see how nice this one is okay that's exactly how we want to make our what, our library over here okay so um, let's go ahead and then we'll do all those customizations for what for the website so to do that we're gonna click on customize over here or if you are the um, you know um, if you are if you are the um, 
um, the the admin side of the website or the back end of the website all what you need to do is what to click on um, let's let me show you how you go over there so just click on what appearance okay and then click on customize okay and that is what exactly what you have to do so click on appear uh, hover on appearance over here and then click on what customize or if you're over here you can go ahead and then what click on this um, word over here customize okay and then everything would work for you so we're gonna what we're gonna go to the customization section of our website and then we will see how to customize the website to make it um, look attractive and nice okay so guys let's jump over there so first of all we have to add our logo we have to you know customize our header bring the button over here and then also go back to our footer and then also work on what on the footer so the first thing i'm going to do is what to go to um, colors over here so i'm going to go to what colors and then choose the color that i want so what color do i want i want exactly what um this color okay so i'll copy it and come over here and then paste it in the hex section over here to get the color that i want now with this one also um i'll paste the same thing over there okay but what I will, i'll paste the same thing over there oh let me just copy this one copy it and then come over here paste the same thing over here and then what i'll do is i'll just what, make it a little bit what darker okay and that is what and that is my colors so um you know everything works fine now with the links over here i want to make it with no underline okay so i don't want any underline in any of my what my links okay and then i would i will just publish it now let's go back okay to the buttons you see that the colors pick already okay so um the typography you can what um you know the the base font that you want it to be you can set it up i want it to be what Montserrat, okay so you can what you can you know choose the base font how you want it okay and then um the regular or what you know you want to reduce it and then the size also you can what you can choose um any size that you want okay the line height and then the line space and everything you can work it what you can work it out okay so basically that is it now let me publish it and then i'm going to go back over here and then let's go to the header so we're going to see the header builder over here now this is the logo okay which is this one so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this ranch icon or the settings icon over here and i'm going to pick a logo over here choose the layout to build logo okay now i'm going to select the logo to use and i'm going to use this what this logo now click on select that will tell me to crop and other things i'll say what i'm um, skip cropping because i don't want to crop it okay so as you can see i have my logo which is the same as what as this one okay so um you can you know expand the logo and make it anyhow you want it so i want to make it like 250 okay which is quite okay for me um now that i have my logo what do I, next do i need now i need to what i need to bring a button so i'll click on this plus icon when you hover over here there is a plus over here click on it and then searching for what button okay so now i have my button over here now let me see so this one also have what also have um you know so this one also have a shopping cart icon over here so i want to bring this shopping cart icon um onto my website so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on this plus icon or hover over here and click over here and then i'll you see the cart over here i'm going to bring the cart over here now i want to move the cart um you know in between the what the button and then the primary navigation so it's going to be something like this okay so as you can see over here this is what how i want it to be like now i'm going to style the button and then i'll come back to style the cut so i'm going to style the button i'll click on this ranch icon or the settings icon over here and then um let's look at what is written over here it says what borrow a book so i'm going to do the same thing right borrow a book okay on it now um with this over here i'm just going to what, use the word um this url over here so i'm going to go back over here and then copy the url over here copy um you know the link address and then come back over here and then paste it over here okay now you can do the settings you want it to open in a new tab or you know 
um, set a link to full no follow set a link to whatever it is i'm just i'm just going to um, leave all these things as what as it is i'm not going to do anything with it i'm going straight to what to the um, design over here and i'll click on design now the colors over here now you can what you can change the background color and all those things when you hover on it how do you want it to be and all those things now with this one what i'm going to do is um i'm going to use this um you know red color over here the color code over here and then with this one i want it to be what to be white as it is but when i hover on it i want it to be what to be um you know that red okay so if i hover over here you see it is red okay now don't worry you can't see it now we'll make it you see it, see it okay so um with the background color i want it to be also what um red okay so i want it to be this red okay now when i hover on it i want it to be white okay so that is exactly what i want I want it to be white so it's going to be something like this so as you can see everything works what perfectly as it is now that we are down over here we can scroll down and then you know adjust the um the radius and other stuff even the font style we can go over here and then you know pick the font style but since it is inheriting the font style that we set up and there is no need for us to set up any font style again so you can check out the what the um shadow and all those things i'm just going to uh, publish it to make sure that all my changes are what i publish so if i go over here and then let's say let me click over here and then see what happens now as you can see we are getting the almost just like what this one okay so we are what we are getting there now let's go back over here and then click on the cut um you know settings so we're going to click over here to the to check the settings of the cut icon now we want this what icon all right um we don't want it to be a link now as you can see over here now if you say a link it means that when i click on it it's going to what, open the what the cut for me okay but i don't want it to be like that i want it to be just like this one when i click on it there is a pop-up over here for me and that is what i want it to be like so um to do that we want what um you know a pop-up cut okay so you can what you can set it up now where do you want it? do you want it to be the left side or the what or the right side of course the right side is okay for me i'm going to what i'm going to publish it now so if i go back over here and i refresh the website okay and i click on what i click over here you see i have this what um cut pop up over here for me and on the right side and that is exactly what what i want so now that i have this one set up now i'm going to go to a design over here okay so with the design over here now i need to what, set up the colors and other stuff of the i want it to stay at, as it is but then i want the cut total um colors to what also what change so if you look over here you see how this one does and that's exactly how i want my to what, to what also behave so with the cut total i want it to be what i want it to be pure white okay so i want it to be pure white the same thing applies to this one i want it to be pure white okay but with the background i want it to be what um you know our red color okay so just like this one i want it to be our what our red color okay so um basically this is it and then what i would i publish it so um now that we are done with what um the cut let's move on to what the you know the primary navigation so i'm going to what click on the ranch icon over here and then what we're going to do is um we're go just going to what you know just do some few settings for the what the primary navigation okay so um with it let's go there and then see if the navigation is all right so as you can see with the navigation colors we want this one to be what to be our red color okay so we want this one to be what a red color no oh sorry we want this one to be just the color as it is which is what which is the black okay but when we hover it's supposed to be like this and when we what when we um you know when we uh, it is it is selected we give it to it that red what color okay and that is it so um you know the underlying all those things you can with the navigation style you can choose any style that you want it to be okay so let's see this is what a simple navigation style it is the same thing as what we are what we are doing okay and that is it now with the um with the um, navigation font let's go to what the style over here and then choose you know a bigger style like let's say 500 i think 500 is quite okay for us all what we're going to do is we're going to click on what publish and then we publish so now we are done with what 
our header okay now let's go to what our footer so as you can see over here the footer is like this it is not well designed or well you know customized we're gonna what customize it the way we want it so we're gonna go back and then click on footer over here and then our footer what our footer um you know builder will, what will pop up for us now um with the background what do you want the background to be like um of course let's go to the general over here first and then we check in the copyright over here so with the copyright as you can see with this one over here if you scroll down the copyright is what um designed by kitech digital okay so i'm going to copy this one over here and then just you know um remove this um uh, let me let me expand it to remove the team credit over here and then i'm just going to place in um this sign where is it oh hold on guys i'm trying to see the sign that i used why am i not seeing it okay guys so i'm using a keyboard a new keyboard and this keyboard i cannot really find the sign but then you can use any sign that you want so i'm going to use this one over here and i'm going to say designed by what kitech um you know digital okay and then i'll link it okay you can just you know highlight it over here and then click on this link and then um you can be able to type in your what your um you know website address or wherever you want to link it over there okay and that is what and that is it. then i'll what I'll publish it okay so now as you can see I have it over there but I want to change the what the background so as you can see this is the background that what um, I'm having over here I want to change it to the same background okay so what I'm I want to do is what um, I want to just you know go to what design over here okay go back to design and then um, let me go to general and see okay so I want to go back to design over here and then um, this is font this is the link colors okay everything is correct now the underline i don't want it to what underline so i'll say what no underline okay so now with the what with the footer um you know bottom or with the copyright then what i'm going to do is um let me go back to the footer over here okay with the footer the background that is where i want so as you can see just make sure that you are at the footer okay and then with the background we can what we can choose any background that we want okay so let's say we want um this kind of what this kind of background okay so you can choose any background that you want depending on what your um you know your, your color preference or anything that you want so i want this it to be this and then um, i'm going to go to general and then go to what the um, um the copyright thing over here and then with the design i want to change my what my font color over here so um, with a font color what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick something like what something like light gray thing over here okay so basically everything is what quite okay for me now i can decide to or to even reduce the um the size of my what my text okay so um i want to make it like let's say 14 okay 14 is quite okay so that is how um you know it works and that is what how you can customize your what your footer okay so i can what i can publish it now guys as you are customizing your header and your footer make sure that you customize it in the tablet mode and then also the mo mobile mode okay so now let's go to the header again and then check out the what the um you know you see this control um settings over here and all those icons over here now let's click on it to go to the tablet mode now as you can see this is how the tablet um you know looks like okay so if you think it's okay for you you can what you can leave it as it is okay but um i want to what, bring another what another thing over here which is the cart okay so i want to bring a cart over here so that the cart will to show on the what on the um tablet also okay so as you can see i want to bring the trigger over here and then the cart will be what will be this in the middle of what the logo and all those things so i like it this way and that is it now let's go to what let's so as we are done with this one so you can also what customize it anyhow you want it you can go and then check out what the you know the cut total colors and all those things so i want to change this one to it to white okay i want to change this one also to it to white and then i can change the background to any color that i want okay so i want to change the, the background color to it to 
um, this color and then also this one to, a, to this color okay so as you can see guys everything works perfectly fine for me okay now um, I can what I can click on the um, you know the mobile um, thing over here and then oh, under it over here I can add what a button okay so I'm gonna add the same button that what I added to the um, you know the desktop side okay so um, with this button what are we writing over here that is the same thing it says what borrow a book okay so we're gonna borrow a book and then we what we copy um, you know the URL of what of the library to what uh, to the place okay so we're gonna copy the URL and then paste it over here okay now that we have this one now let's go and then what customize it so um, our text color will be white okay when you hover also um, it's going to be what this red color our background color will be red and then when you hover it's supposed to be what white okay so basically that is what all and then when you um, ho do the, the um, when you click on the what the trigger is going to uh, do this one for you now of course with the trigger uh, with the off com canvas we can what we can you know do um, a whole settings over here okay so we can what we can click on it over here and then how do you want it you want it to be what a side panel or a full width okay so I want it to be what um, full width and then um, I want it to be what in the center okay just like this one and then I want it to publish so if I click over here as you can see guys this is how it's going to what is going to behave okay for me and that is exactly how I want it okay so I want it to be something simple like this and I go now with a what with a trigger I want to uh, I want to trigger it okay I want to I want to um, style it I want to you know go over here and then choose the middle one over here okay and then with the design um, I want to make it towards full black okay so with this one I want to make it you know full black okay and then when I hover on it it's supposed to be like this okay so I think everything is what quite okay I can what I can publish it now when I go to what mobile it's still the same but as you can see the logo is what is big okay so I can click on logo over here and then you know check um, the the logo over here and then reduce the size a little bit okay so I'm gonna reduce the size so let's say 180 okay and 180 is like this so let's say 150 okay so 150 will give you what something like this all will be what all will be showing over here for you nicely okay and that is how you can be able to what um, you know customize your what your um, set up your logo to be mobile responsive for almost every um, website that you what you use okay so guys um, we are done with what with most of the header and the footer customization now let's move on to what to you know um, deal with the pages and other stuff so we, I'm gonna what I'm gonna publish it over here okay now I'm gonna go back and then you know click on um, desktop mode over here and then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go to what post and pages okay so with my post and pages what I'm gonna do is um, all my pages um, you know I want um, I want to go to design over here okay now when I go to design I want the f um, the, the page title font um, you know to be as it is but I want to change this one to what to white okay and then um, I want to change the page title background also to what to this um, you know kind of like a red color okay I can decide to make it a little bit darker red okay um, depending on how you want and then I would I publish it so if I come over here and then I go to my library I'm supposed to what make sure that um, this thing works for me so um, it's, it's not really working as I want it but let me go over again and then see if I have done page title background okay so that is it um, yeah font is white everything okay so I don't know why it's not really working but let me just um, refresh it again and see because it's supposed to what um, give me what I want but then of course I can customize it in what in a different way okay so let me look at it this way and see if 
okay so it picked it over here but it did not pick it at the what at the shop side okay so meaning that i have to uh, customize it at the what at the shop side also so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to what back over here and then um with the what with the um pages i'll go to what woocommerce over here okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to product catalog okay so as you can see this is what the product catalog that is what the library over here okay so i'm going to go to design over here and then um the title color i'm going to give it what white okay so as you can see it is now what um coming and then with the active um you know the the background the title archive background color i'm going to give it this you know um a little bit darker um red color over here and i think everything is what good to go for me and then i'll what i'll publish it okay now i can go back again and then do the same for what for checkout also so with the checkout i think it's it's it picked it as it is so let's um you know let's go to let's say my account and see if it is it is working the way we want it so my account is also what working the way we want it okay so it, it was only the archive which wasn't what um responding the way we want it but now it is what it is responding the way we want it now let's go back again and then you know look at the layout of what my account so let me look at my account layout over here and as you can see it is what on the right side over here we don't want it that way we're going to put it on what on the left okay so that is exactly how we want it to be okay so um the checkout is also what is also working for us everything is working now let's publish it and then go back okay and then um let's look at the product catalog again now we're gonna go at, go um down scroll down and then you know um see if we can do some changes or other things in it so um products per row we want it to be what to be three okay we want it to show what three products per row just like what just like this one over here okay so with a add to cut um what do we want to do um we want it to be let's see the bottom star and all those things um let me go let me go i'm gonna go through it one by one and then see what i have to what what i have to do so archive layout so um with the archive layout you can lay out you can change it anyhow you want to what you want to change it it depends on what you, you can make it um this way or anyhow you want it to what you want it to be but i think this is what is better it shows the um you know the the pictures well and then i like it that way and then um if you want it as what you want a sidebar you can also choose a sidebar so let me go to um you know the button okay so slide up is okay for us and then button style do you want it with text arrow or buttons we want it to work with buttons so it's gonna be um you know not with the text we want it to be what, like this okay and that is how we want it okay so now that we we are done with everything um mobile column do you want it to be two column or one column i think one column is quite okay so i'm going to publish it over here and then if i go to what over here and then i refresh it we're going to see all the changes that we've got we've done over here and then now everything looks what looks perfectly well just like um how we have over here okay the only thing is what just the borrow um, book which is different from this place and that is it so now what do we have to do we have to do some other few settings and then we are what we are good to go with it so let's um you know jump on to the other settings that we have to do and let's go okay guys so um we are done with the home page we've done the you know the header settings and other stuff all the other customization of the web website right now everything is what working perfectly now what we have to do is the about page and then um we also do the contact page okay and then um, we will change the you know add to cart um button over here from add to cart to what to borrow um book okay and that is all what is left for us to do so the next one that we're going to do is what to work on the what the about page so we want the about page to be something like this over a simple uh, page like this okay so that is what we're going to do so um let's jump into it and let's go so to design the 
um, about page we're going to use what elementor um, page builder so we're going to click on edit page over here okay guys so now that we are over here what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to click on what edit with elementor click on the blue button which says edit with elementor and then let's go ahead and then what edit um you know the the about page it means that we're going to design the about page okay so um we we designed the about page using elementor page builder just like we did the um you know the home page okay we're going to what we're going to do same to the about page. but with this one we're going to um just you know copy and paste some things over here from the home page design okay so we go to the home page now so as you can see this is what the home page okay now let's look at how the about page looks like it looks like this okay so um you see over here the last page over here we're going to copy it to what to um to this place okay so uh, before we even do that we're going to what first of all start to create um a one column session over here okay so we're going to create a one column session over here and then we're going to give it a minimum height of let's say you know 400 is okay but let's go to let's say 500 okay which is quite okay and then we're going to go to what style over here so click on style over here and then let's go to the background type and choose classic background type and then we're going to what choose um, an image for it so we're going to select an image for it and then the image that we are going to choose we're going to choose this image okay um the books over here and then we're going to what we're going to um, make it like this now as you can see it is the same image that we used over here okay now we're going to write this one on top of that image okay so what we will do is um we copy it and then we come over here and then you know just drag in a heading text um heading widget over here okay so we drag in a heading widget over here and then type in your text which is what about digital library and then position it or align it in the center over here then we're going to go to style over here and then we're going to what we're going to change it to um you know white okay we want to change the color to white and then what we're going to do is um we change the typography also to um montserrat okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the typography to montserrat okay and then um you know the size i'm going to say let's say 45 okay which is quite okay and then you can you know bold in it um anyhow you want it okay so maybe you want it to be a little bit bolder and other stuff you can do same to this one and then um we go straight to what to this part which is edit session over here and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and then what we are going to do is um with the with this one we're going to give it what um you know let's say background overlay over here okay so choose the background overlay click on it to uh, to select it and then the background type choose classic and then give it an a color okay an overlay color of what let's say black okay so it's gonna be something like this okay now of course you can decide to also what um you know give this one a shadow okay so text shadow you can what you can increase the text shadow okay so um this color opacity i'm gonna what increase it so that um the text will what will reveal itself well okay so now i have this one done which is similar to what what we have over here okay and that is what exactly what we want so if i want i can go back again and then you know um just reduce the opacity okay so i'm gonna what just um you know um reduce the opacity a little bit okay so so that the the color um, the background um, you know picture will what will, will show very well so i have this one done over here now the next one is what to do this session okay so this session is also another um, session that we're going to talk about so now let's click on the plus um, button over here and then we're going to choose the two column session over here and then um i am going to what, select this one go to style over here or let's say let me go back to layout and then i'm going to what the height i'm going to say minimum height of 400 which is okay now over here i'm going to put an image over here okay so i'll drag in an image over here image widget over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to choose an image from here and then um i don't have that particular image over here i'm going to go to what to you know just um select the image from my my files over here so i'm going to go to website and then i'm going to go to library and then i'm going to go to image and then i'm going to choose this 
particular image over here and I'm going to use that image which is um, you know the website um, square logo okay so I'm going to use this particular image and then what I'm going to do is um, I want to go to the main session so by clicking on the six dots over here I go the edit session open for me and then I go to what the um, advanced side go to advanced and then you know give it um, a margin of 50 okay so a little bit of margin of 50 which is quite okay so I think this is um, quite okay for me I think it's okay now I can what I can you know um, design the the other side of it which is what also simple now this place is digital what data library we have what um, you know a line over here and then all the other what information follows okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this plus icon over here and then I'm going to bring a heading over here and then inside the heading or um, the heading text I'm going to write um, about a um, digital library just like this one over here now I'm going to go to style and then style the word the text I'm going to go to um, change this one to a, to dark okay or black I'm going to change this one to Montserrat the typography to Montserrat and then um, what again um, yeah so after doing this now I'm going to change this one to 35 okay which is quite okay then um, I'm going to click on this nine dots over here or the grip icon over here click on it and then I'm going to what drag in a divider okay so I want to what divide the heading and then what the um, the text I'm gonna give this one 50 okay 50 is even too much I'm gonna give it like 30 okay which is quite okay now um, with let's say let's go to the advance of it and then um, I'm gonna what um, unlink the mud and uh, the margin and then give it a top margin of negative 20 okay and then the same thing also um, if I want to do it to this one I can also do same to this one and also I'm going to give a negative 20 to the bottom so that um, there's no space over here now that I've closed all the space or the gaps in between the what the line or the um, spacer now what I have to do is what to click on this um, nine dot over here and then bring in a text widget okay so I'm going to bring in what the text widget over here now I have this text widget over here now I'm going to um, you know just put in some dummy images or just to write something small about what about the um, the whole website library website itself so I'm gonna use this um, you know content over here now that I have this one done I'll go to style over here and then what I will do is I'm gonna what, change the text color to a little bit black okay yeah this is quite okay I'll go to typography change it from Roboto to uh, Montserrat okay so now that I have a uh, monster selected, selected, sorry, I will have to what, um, change the size of it to let's say 18, okay, which is quite okay. Now, as you can see, everything fits in perfectly well. So um, now, what I want to do is what click on the edit session over here, go to layout, and then um, let me see whether whether um, you know the the um, is it the alignment or something. No, not the alignment, the column gap, sorry. So I'm going to what, give it a wider column gap, okay, so that there will be a um, wider space over here. So now I think I'm done with this one. The next one I have to do is what, just bring this call to action, um, you know, um, session over here. Now, of course, we have this call to action session in the what? Uh, on the, um, the same thing over here, okay, which is the home page. So I'm just going to copy this one from the home page, okay. So copy it, come back to what the about page, and then paste it over here. Okay, so I'm gonna paste it over here to make sure that I have it done. Now my um you know my my session is created, my 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 page is what is created, everything is created. Now I can click on what update to uh, to update the page. Okay, so now I'm done with the um the home page, but then I need to make sure that the home page is what mobile responsive. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this mobile responsive mode. And then um, you know check it on tablet first I think this one is quite okay um, maybe some a little bit of tweaks and stuff over here but I think everything looks perfectly fine over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the what the mobile site okay 
now this is the most important size so what i'm going to do is i'm going to what uh, make sure that i go to this edit this session and edit it so i'm going to go to the layout of the session and then um you know i will reduce this one a little bit okay to let's say yeah 292 is okay and then the same i'll do the same to the text i'll have to what, reduce the size of the text okay so i'm going to reduce the size of this text to let's say 25 25 will be fine 25 will be fine so um after that i think everything looks fine over here maybe i can just you know adjust some few things over here so um i can go over here and then you know just reduce the text from here to uh, to 25 which is also quite good okay and then over here instead of 18 i can make the size of it to be what to be let's say um 15 okay which is also quite okay so now i think everything looks perfectly well everything works perfectly fine and now i can click on update and then update my what my page so now i am done with what the um, about page and i can what click on view to what to view the about page so guys this is how it looks like it is what looking perfectly well okay so now the next one that we have to do is what to work on the contact page okay so um to be able to work on the contact page we have to insert to it a contact form over here now if you look at um our contact page over here it is um let me go over here it is just what um a form which is what which is there okay so just this one over here we say it's what contact us and then what a form okay and that is all the same way is what we're going to do to what to it but before that let me go back to the about page and then open the about page so that i can be able to copy this session okay this session i need this session so i'm going to what um edit with what El elementor over here and then um i'm going to open the what the contact page and then you know edit it okay go over here and then click on what click on edit page now before i even you know um, edit it or even do anything i need to create the what the form that we what we insert in it okay so now to do that you remember that we installed um you know a form builder called the forminator over here and that is exactly what we are going to use so we're going to use forminator okay to what to um you know to to uh, create the form that we want so what we're going to do is um just click on what forminator okay just click on it now when you click on it you're going to come over here okay now of course we don't have any form on it now what we have we have to do is so just click on what uh, forms over here click on the forms and then it will tell you to what um, you know either create or import the form so just click on what create and then we're going to create a contact form contact as form click on continue name it as what contact okay name is at contact and click on what create now your form will be what will be created for you in just some few minutes okay and then when you get a form all what you need to do is to, uh, to do some tweaks and other stuff around about it and then you what will be ready to what in, insert it into your what into your page so now as you can see we have the form over here and if you go let's look at how the form really looks like this is the um the original form that we want to what we want to um you know design okay so now let's go back over here um over to the forms over here and then we have the name email address um you know phone number and then messages now let's go over here here's also says what first name um address email address phone number and then what message okay so now we have it what over here now this is what the button which is what send what message okay and that is what what we also want so now that we have this form now let's go to how it will appear on the what on the um, front end so um as you can see over here this is how it appears okay so we want to also make it the same way as how um, the original one also appeared so do you want it to be flat do you want it to be bold do you want it to be material i think material is quite okay for us okay now with the colors we want to use custom colors okay and then i'm not going to touch anything all what i'm going to touch is the what is the button over here now we want to use um you know the red color for our what, our button okay so i'm going to copy this color code from here and then come over here and then paste it what it's here okay so i'm going to click on select and then paste the color code what color code here 
and then we what we select it okay so this is what um the background and this is what the text okay, uh, the text and then if you hover on it um basically it should be the same thing okay if you hover on it it should be also be what, the same thing the focus should also be what the same thing and that is um what we really want so now we can what we can go ahead and then go to what behavior okay now with the behavior this is what um you know after submitting it this is a message that you can if you want to what add a different behavior maybe you want you don't want an inline message you want it to load a page or whatever it is or to you know open a new page for you to say maybe you have your own customized thank you page and other stuff you can what you can also what go ahead and then what add that kind of what behavior over here so um the condition it should be it could be what inline maybe inline message um you know redirect user to what a url that is when you have your own what thank you page that you want users to what go over there and then if you want to what hide the what hide the form okay so and basically that is it now i'm not going to add anything to it now let's scroll down and then you know just check email notifications now with the email notification this is the email that will receive what the messages from um, the contact form okay so whenever somebody send you a contact form um, a contact details or you know whenever somebody reach out to you this is the email that is what um, it will deliver into okay so you have to check this particular what, email now of course if you don't use um, you know the hosting or the domain name email um, you have problem with what getting or receiving the email so I sometimes I advise you to get a custom email address which is related to your what your hosting so that um, you wouldn't have emails not being what received okay so it is better that your admin email should be what should be almost the same as your what your hosting okay your your domain name it should be custom domain what email okay which is our what i will um you know recommend for you so i think everything is quite okay so all what i need to do is what to just click on what publish to publish the what the form now the form is published and ready to go i can go ahead and then what click on copy over here to copy the form now i can go to what my pages over here go to all pages click on all pages over here and then i will be able to choose the page that i want to what i want to insert the form into all right guys so we're gonna select or uh, you know click on edit under the contact when you hover on the contact you see edit over there just click on edit over here so that we can go inside and then we'll do all the other things design things that we have to do now we don't want to use the um, gutenberg blog editor we want to use elementor to, to you know design it so what we're going to do is we're going to click on what um edit with elementor over here okay so now that we have you know clicked on it we're going to wait for it to, uh, to load for us elementor to load for us so that we can be able to what uh, we can be able to edit our page so now it is um it is here over here now what we have to do is what we have to we have to um you know continue to what uh, to start designing or we have to start designing it so um first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this um button over here this plus button over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this you know um three column session with the middle one bigger okay over here i'm going to click on it and then um i'm going to what insert um you know short code widget in it okay so i'm going to click over here and then search for what short code okay so um remember that we copied a short code um after designing the word the form we're going to use this short code widget to display that word that short code so um what we're going to do is we're just going to what you know um select and um, paste it over here and then as you can see the the form is what is displaying for us okay the way we want it okay so this is how it is now i'm going to click on this plus on top of it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to what my um you know about page over here and then i'm going to copy the the hero session of the about page i'm going to copy it and then come over here and then paste it over here okay so i'm going to what paste this one over here so now i'm going to get something like this and then i'm going to change this text over here to what to contact us okay so now that i have this one set up as contact acts now i need to uh, design or you know style the what the form okay so now i'm going to what click on this um first okay this place first the edit session first 
I'm going to go to what edit um, the advance over here click on advance and then give it to what a margin okay a margin of 90 top and down okay so that there will be a space over here and then there will be also space over here okay now after doing that I'm going to click on this um, edit column over here and then I'm going to go to style over here okay now even with this one I'm going to what give it a border okay now with the border I'm going to give it to what um, you know a solid border I'm going to give it um, let's say two okay and then I'll go to what advance of it and then I'll give it um, a pattern okay so I'm going to give it a pattern of 50 okay so 50 is what um, it's quite okay or let me give it let's say 30 a pattern of what 30 30 is what quite okay okay oh let me say 35 which is quite okay yeah 35 is what is quite okay for what for it so now that i have this one done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then with a the border i will still go on the border and i see this one which says what box shadow now i'm going to click on hover over here and then use the box shadow over here and then what i'm going to do is um i'm going to what um you know leave it as it is now if i hover on it you realize that there is what a shadow over it because i have activated the, what the box shadow okay so if i hover on it over here now of course you can click over here and then increase the um the you know the opacity the blur and all those things okay you can do all those things over here how you want the direction of the what of the um the the shadow where you want it to go you can what you can do so over here so this is how um you know it is and i can what update it just like the way i have it now of course if i want to it to be mobile responsive i can click over here and then check out the what, the responsive mode of what of it so now this is how it looks like okay on the tablet and then um if i go over here this is how it looks like on the what on the mobile i can decide to what um click over here and then go to advance of it and then give it to what a margin of what let's say 20 okay so that it wouldn't touch the edges of what of the um you know the device and that is what that is how you can be able to what, um, create a contact page for your website so now my contact is what is created i have clicked on update to update it now i am what free to go so now almost our website is what is almost done everything is what's um, done for us now we've done our home page we have um, also you know done our what our about page of the what of the library website we also done you know the library where we can what see all the books and other stuff over here we can also what sort between pop um, you know popularity and all those things we can even decide to what um, um, you know um, toggle around the list view and then over the grid what the grid view how we want it to what to be okay it depends on what it depends on you so um, we can also go ahead and then check the contact page over here and then see how the contact page also looks like very nicely done we can also go ahead and then check the what the you know the uh, my account page this is also the account page where if you um, borrow books and other stuff you see it in your orders and other stuff you can see it over there so now guys um, I think we are what we are good to go and then um, our website is almost done now the only thing that is really left for us is for us to what um, get a code that will be able to change the what the um, you know the 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 add to cart button over here okay so um, how do you change this add to cart button now of course I don't know the code imagine let's say I don't know the code they used in what in changing the add to cart button over here now there is a way I can be able to what get the code okay now nowadays ai is what is very common and it's doing amazing job and that is why we're going to use a software called the, what the chat gpt okay so the chat gpt will be able to help us um to change the what the the add to card button that we want we want so what we're going to do is um we're going to um just search for what um you know open ai.com okay uh let's say chat let me go to what um chat chat dot open ai dot com slash 
chat okay just type in this one chat.openai.com slash chat um it's going to open you know open AI for you if you haven't signed in or if you haven't you know you don't have an account over there now what it's going to do is um it's going to what it's going to um you know uh, tell you to what to um log in and other stuff now of course as you can see over here they said um the capacity right now is what is very high okay oh uh, chat gpt is at um capacity right now it means that they are very very their people are what um on it and their servers are really really busy they cannot accept anybody in again uh this is the first time of me seeing this particular thing over here but um don't worry i'll still leave the code in the description for you if you want to know how to what to change the what um the the um you know the add to card button and then also i have done a video on it i've done a video on it on how to be able to what to change the what um you know the add to card what button um on on any web wordpress website okay so what i did i did a video on it you can also watch watch that video using um open um chat gpt over there okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um copy the code from you know from this website okay so i'll go to the back end of this website and then just copy the code and then use it on the what on the new website now of course i'll leave the link in the description for you guys to to be able to get the code okay that you need okay so i'm going to go to um you know to um code snippet over here and then um you know i'm going to what just edit this one which says what um borrow book over here and then this is the code that i used okay so this is the code that i use so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um you know copy this code over here i'm just going to copy this code and then i'll come to what i'll come to uh, my website over here so i'm going to come over here and then go to the back end of this website and then paste in the code in what in the um code snippet side over there so um let's go to code snippet okay go over here and then click on co code snippet and then it will tell you to what to create what um, a code snippet a snippet so these are all the snippets that i have i'm going to add new snippet and then what it will tell me to do is so to select it from what the predefined or pre you know um already made a snippet over here but that is not what i want i want my own kind of what snippet so i'm going to what add my custom snippet okay so i'll click on add new use um you know custom snippet and then what i'm i'll do is what i'll just say what um borrow book over here okay so i'm going to use this one says borrow book and then the course code type i'm going to what change it to what to javascript and um, to php snippet and then i'm going to paste in this code over here okay so um this is the code that what i pasted and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to activate it and what save it okay guys so the code is what activated and saved now let's go back to our website and then see and then see if what um it is running on what or it has been activated on it so let's over on it and you see borrow book is what is there over here okay so uh, like i told you i'll leave the what the code over there for you okay now not just the borrow book but um we want it to also change something from the what from the checkout so for instance if i click on what borrow book over here um it will direct me to the cart page over here and then i'll click on what proceed to what to check out and if i go to check out over here you see that it says what place what other okay i don't want it to say place order i want it to say maybe borrow okay so um i'm going to go back to code snippet over here and then you know go to the other um, snippets that this website have and then you see we have checkout over here i'm going to just um you know edit the checkout and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this one i'll also give you this code okay so don't worry i'll give you this code i'm going to copy this code over here and then come to what um this code snippet over here and then come back to what add i'm going to click on add snippet and then i'm going to add my use my own custom you know code 
and then I'll also say what check out check out okay so now um, the code type is a PHP code okay and then I'm gonna what paste in this one over here make it active and then what save the snippet so guys my snippet is saved now if I go to the checkout and then I what I refresh you see it is now what borrow over here okay and that is it now guys if I want to borrow a book and I have to fill all these things I mean like I'll be so disturbed okay so what I want to do is I want to remove some of these things over here okay and that is why you remember that we installed what um, you know another plugin for what for the forms which is what the checkout form okay checkout form editor that we installed so to do that we're going to what hover on WooCommerce over here go to checkout forms over here or checkout form over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, disable some of the form okay or we're going to remove some of the form fills okay so what we're going to do is what these are um, you know all the form fills that we have we do not have what we do not ship okay so we don't have anything related to what's shipping over here but um when you come over here we have the billing name billing first name billing last name company name i don't want to see any company the country um is already stated over there so maybe i'll leave the country and then um i'll leave the address um street address or if i like i'll decide to remove this all this one and then leave, just leave the city the billing state i'll remove it the billing postcode i'll remove it and then leave the what the phone number and then the what the billing email okay so these are the things that what i need and then after that i'm going to click on what disable so all the things that i've ticked will what will be disabled and then when i save the changes click here to save the changes and then when i come back over here and then um i click on refresh over here i'm supposed to see some what some changes over here so guys as you can see i only have what this wants to what to fill and that is how you can be able to what, edit your checkout what uh, form okay the fields over here you can be able to remove some of them from it and then you know um just keep the rest the, the few ones that you want to what you want your customers or your um, users to uh, to be able to fill okay so um, users of the um, library website to be able to uh, fill this one and then you know click on borrow to uh, to borrow the book so guys i hope this tutorial helps you um, to be able to what uh, design a library website of your own um this is an amazing you know um website tutorial that i have really really compiled it um, very well and i Pray that you guys are going to what, um, use it well and then, you know, learn from it. Thank you for watching this video. And please, please, once again, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Just when you subscribe, um, you know, click on the notification bell and like this video for me, okay? Please like the video for me. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.